Hello again, it's Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales again, and today I'm just going to show you how to remove an impeller and put in a new one. Um, so what I've done here, if you come around, thanks Andrew, is this is the impeller housing and you can see the impeller within it. Um, the way an impeller works is basically the water comes in, it gets trapped between the blades of the impeller and then gets pushed out. So this cam here actually is what bends the blades um, and that stops the water from traveling around in circles. So it comes in, gets trapped between the blades and then goes up into the filter, which is on this Volvo Pento CAD 43. Um, now the filters can be before the impeller, but this one is after. Benefit of that, if anything breaks up in here, it'll end up in here and not end up down in the raw water system. Um, but what we've done already is we've just unbolted the six bolts that hold the cover on. We've taken it off and you can see this is where the o-ring sits um, so we're going to replace the o-ring and the impeller um, the other thing we've just done as well is you can clean these surfaces and um, the best advice i give people is just give it a spray with wd-40 and then use one of these green scouring pads and that generally will help clean up the pump we've already done this once and it was pretty dirty so it won't get pristine but it gets all the sort of main debris off and we do the same around here as well just like that okay so it just gets most of it off and um, we'll put that on the side and um, what i'm going to show you now is an impeller puller um, these come in different sizes and um, this one is for larger impellers but the idea of this is it goes either side of the impeller um, you can see it is slightly too large to get all the way in but it will still clamp the impeller. And in normality, you could wind this all the way in, and then this will then push on the central shaft in the center, and then as you turn it, you can see the impeller starting to come out. Um, you can also use this as a handle, so once you've got it out far enough, you can just pull it, uh, so we don't have to wind it all the way in. And there's your impeller. And we're changing this as part of a service. I'm not envisaging there's too much wrong with it. Um, but when we check an impeller, and um, what we want to do is check both sides and then check between the blades for any visible cracks. And there isn't any. So what we'll do is we're gonna pop a new one in. It looks pretty new to me anyway, but we've got a new one here. Um, and what you get in the kit is you get a glycerin gel and um, it's called an impeller lubricant, it's clear, but what this does, it lubricates the impeller for when there's no water in the system when you first start the engine. So this will stay protecting the impeller from getting any damage until the water comes through and feeds it. Right, I'm just gonna pop this in. I'm just going to pop this in and the way you get this in is um, there's lots of different ways you can do it but this one what I'd suggest is is that you push against the cam come around this side and you bend the blades and then you rotate um, and you can do it actually if we do it the other way that will be the same rotation as the uh, as the impeller and it is always a bit slippy and it's a bit stiff so we'll get it in You get it to the point where it locks onto the shaft and then give it a good shoving and then it's in place. Next thing we just want to swap this and um, you can see there's the old one it's a bit grotty what we'll do we'll swap it over to the new one. We don't want to get any grease on the impeller itself if we can help it but what this will do is just help it stay in place whilst we put the cover back on and help stop any corrosion from forming from the salt water behind it. We don't want to get it inside. If we put an oil-based grease on the impeller blades itself, um, it can penetrate the rubber and make it deform. Um, you can also see 
this looks perfectly round until we get to this point. This actually, darkening is actually the cam, so it's this cam here. Um, so what we want to do is pop it back on in the same place. So what I'd normally do is pick a hole, upend it, then start that into that hole. Like that, and we'll do all the rest of them. And turn. Keep holding it in place because we don't want it to come away from the face just in case the seal might dislodge but once we've got two partly done up then we can let go and then we'll do all the others up do is I just use a ratchet I don't force the ratchet round I just use it as a little bit of leverage and just nip them up till they're firm again it's soft metal especially in the housing so if we over tighten these stainless screws into the housing we can damage the threads in the housing we don't want to do that you can see I'm holding the ratchet I'm not using the leverage but just using a little bit of the ratchet just to enable me to do it up firmly and that's it all done thank you again